Like I said, appreciate your patience. Let me get your form pulled up. Um, all righty. So what got you interested in coaching? Um, okay, so I recently I recently transitioned over to M and K. Um yeah. I was playing I was playing on a controller on PC. Uh-huh. Um and yeah, essentially I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to get more competitive, I guess. Sure, uh, sure. So so yeah, I'm I'm um I I have like scrim experience, you know, on like teams. Yeah. Um with uh, me personally me and my friends we scrimmed uh um we played in like three O D tournaments. Oh, nice. Um yeah, and the best we got I think was like five four. Um and I guess I'm just trying to get I'm trying to tap in at least me personally skill wise into like a higher tier, I guess. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Why, if you don't mind me asking? Is it just you enjoy the I love level? Overwatch. Okay. I'm I'm a big Overwatch guy. Okay. How long have you been playing? Since launch. Since launch. So, okay. Yeah, I was on I was on console um until like twenty twenty and then I moved over to PC, but I was on like a laptop, so I didn't want to like swap to MNK right away. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. And support I'm seeing here. But like it feels like everything support. <laughs> That's unusual. Uh, well, yeah. So I mean, I um, I'm trying to just like specialize. I suppose I play I play every role, but um, but yeah, I I'm trying to get better specifically at support. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. And then I'm seeing here, like even within support, though, like you you, you play everything. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Do you have a particular couple of favorites? Okay. So I mean, as of like, so when I was a controller, I I like leaned into main supports so lucio brig were like pretty much what i would try to stick to in comp right. and in scrims because yeah it makes sense less mechanically intensive at least like aim wise yeah um but yeah I, i've since mnk I've, I've expanded my hero pool to, to okay. a lot more bap on okay um, that's that's like majority what i play now yeah Bap-ana. yeah yeah makes sense makes sense first, first thing i would want to figure out like once you like kind of as you're progressing along this and you're looking to take things more seriously, like as a competitive standpoint is to try to find your identity within support because while flexing uh, has become a lot more attractive in Overwatch true than it ever was in Overwatch one, there is still role specialization with support to an extent, you know, Mm -hmm. not everyone can be, I mean, even, even like Violet, for example, like what is Violet in Overwatch? Like, do you know Violet? Yeah. 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 You know, (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that guy's that guy's a <clears throat> freak. Right, he's like, he's a he's a freak. He's an t- absolute freak. But even then, if you're looking for a Lucio specialist, it's not him. It's right, definitely not him. I agree. right, yeah. right. So it's like that's basically kind of like what you want to be looking for is trying to find like okay, at least right now, what's my specialty? And you can carve your own path. I'm not even necessarily saying you have to be a flex support or main support. Why don't you be you know a Lucio specialist that can also play? on a Zen, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's fine. What I am saying though, is it's going to be unreasonable for you to play all of the support heroes to a really, really high level, at least immediately try to channel some of your attention along that ways. Okay. So what do you hope you get out of the session? I would like to get coaching on my support, leave with strategies and knowledge and improvements. Okay. You're GM three, at least at the time of the form. Uh, yeah, I'm down to GM five right now, but I was okay. GM three then. I think. Okay. Okay. Hero pull five days a week. Five hours. Okay, so how is that time spent? Do you scrimmage? Uh, recently, no. But okay. um, with the semester starting, I'm going to be playing with my school. That's like a. It's going to be a little bit less competitive because I think our average is like, um, probably like around M four. Okay. Um, but I am looking um, <clears throat> for. I don't know if my friends are going to continue playing uh, in OD, but either that or or um, I might uh, look to join a team. Okay. 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 Makes sense. Makes sense. So I think that's again, like a priority as well as like figuring out like where your practice time is going to be spent and then trying to find something like, like, like you said, something as competitive as you possibly can, because the, um, the, the more competitive it is, the better practice it's going to be, obviously. So, uh, you don't necessarily want to be the worst player on your team by a lot, but I, I certainly wouldn't complain if you were the worst player on yeah. your team, as long as you don't feel too overwhelmed. I think obviously, like you said, if it, you said like Amp masters team, um, 
that you school or, or, or yeah 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 i mean yeah. that that's mostly that's like a little bit more for fun it's not like we're probably just going right. scrimming like twice a week right um, right so it's like it's whatever but you know it's going to be not the most competitive environment ever you know yes. it, it's yeah, gonna... honestly that's that like the, the way i see like that that's probably just more like because I'm, I'm the captain so i'm, I'm probably just going to be focusing on more intangible stuff yeah makes sense makes sense okay and then on the average day of the average week especially now that you're not scrimming what is that five hours spin up with? What does it look like? Did I put five hours a day? Uh, five days, five hours. Uh, I see. Whatever it is right now, now, fill me yeah, in. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I don't, I don't even remember what I put. <laughs> but um, no, yeah. So, so right now, um, so I'm in, I'm in the middle of a uh, 15 credit hour semester. But um, right. I usually, I usually do have time like in the week after, after like school and practice. So I'm, I'm usually like. Maybe like two to three hours, probably closer to two, mm-hmm. um, close to every day. Um, and I usually spend it duoing or playing alone, depending if uh, someone's available. And I, mm-hmm. I pretty much, it's it's all ranked. Um, yeah, yeah. And I usually I I try to stay pretty focused, like uh, intensity wise. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. So, I mean, I, I think it's reasonable where you're at right now. Two to three hours, seven days a week is, is pretty solid training schedule. Is it going to get you to contenders level? Maybe, maybe not. But I think at the very least with where you are right now, there's still room for growth or room for improvement. And then we'll cross that road when we get there. You kind of see what I'm saying? Um, yeah. So let's just make what we have right now as efficient as we can and, and see what we can do. I, I will say that, like, obviously making sure that you have a good warm up routine, making sure that you're consistent with your ring schedule. And the big thing for you is honestly more than anything else with your training schedule is going back and revisiting that hero pool and making sure that on those two to three hours that you're not spreading yourself too thin, but that you're focusing on only a couple of characters uh, on a week to week, month to month basis. If you need yeah, to pivot it. Is- Go ahead. Here, one sec. This is this is my current. Uh, this is this season. This is what my distribution is. Yeah. See, this is kind of messy, right? A little bit. Like it's it's not bad. It's obviously BAP on a priority, but like if I I, I want those Kiriko Mint Zenyatta Iari minutes slammed elsewhere, you know. Also, yeah. why is Brig have one? Lucio will have one. Like at that, what I would, what the optimal setup here would be like, it would be like eleven Baptistes, nine Anna, and then that's it. Or ten, eight, and then like three hours on Iaria, three hours on Lucio, or something like that. Like it sounds nitpicky, but you got you got to understand that that's when we're talking about like amplifying this over multiple seasons, multiple weeks. It's going to matter, right? Um, gotcha. yeah. so I, I would recommend that. And then obviously if your team or your personal goals mean like, okay, I really want to grind Zen this season cause I, I need to get better at Zen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then fine. Then do that. But this, this is like that, that those what two, three Zen games are like not worthless, but about as close as they're going to get to worthless. Uh, when it comes to like actual practice value, you're just not going to get the reps on it. Um, okay. Is all this making sense so far? Yep. For sure. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Uh, so spending time to develop practice one or two heroes per per season per week um obviously having specific goals you talked about like you go full intensity that's great but obviously channeling that intensity in a specific direction on that character like some aspect of that character positioning cool and usage whatever that you need to fix and prove at uh okay what do you feel is holding back from improving our recent transition from colt controller to mnk so i'm still working on my mechanics uh, I feel like I have some mid-map game sense struggles where I end up making decisions that are worse because I'm focusing on my mechanics. And, and that's fine, right? That's fine. Uh, what, what, what I might do is, do you have a mechanical routine? Do you have, you, do you have anything that you do for your mechanics or do you just grind ranked? Um, beforehand, it's, it's like, I usually just like either a training range or, or a custom game with like, like an aim trainer. Okay. Um, How long? Yeah. Uh, like 10 minutes. Not too okay. Much. Sounds good. What I, what I would consider doing is amping that time up to 20 or 30 minutes. And then I would spend more time in, I would always check to see if there's a try hard FFA lobby. Uh, okay. if there's not, because they're a lot more rare nowadays, then I would not even shy against going into a unranked deathmatch. Um, unless you're like queuing up against, unless you start winning those lobbies consistently, then you might need to stop because the matchmaking might be kind of cruddy because you're like jam player, right? So, um, but 
I would, that's going to be just better value. Like that's, that's just how I taught myself Grandmaster mechanics is just okay. grinding deathmatch as much as I possibly could. Like I said, it's a lot harder nowadays because Trihurt has kind of gone the way of the Dodo for whatever reason, but I, <laughs> I highly recommend at least, at least check. If it's there, grind it. If it's not, don't worry about it. But I, would, I wouldn't worry about too much custom game codes. Um, it can help. It's not terrible with Honest End. could be worse, but it's just not going to be as useful. What about like um, uh, Li Zhang 1v1 lobbies? Does that like help at all? Or uh, should, I, should I stick uh, to like uh, heroes I'm going to be playing? Yeah, probably stick to heroes you're going to be playing. Right? Yeah, like talk yeah. about like Ana. It's like that's a pretty unique character, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I mean that, that's not bad. It's just not optimal, you know? Ideally, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't really have any other questions from your form. Do you just want to look at your code, or do you have any other questions for me? Uh, let's see. I don't think so. I think uh, more questions will arise on the codes. Right on. So what are we looking at here? Okay. One of these is a Paraiso game. One of these is a Havana game. I I think historically struggle with uh, where to be on on these maps specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, but both of these maps should be BAP on a, like I play both in both maps. Um, okay. Yeah. Do you want to start uh, with this one? Yeah, this one, this one's good. Yep. Okay. So you said positioning specifically, a little bit of BAP, a little bit of Ana. Okay. Let's turn this up to run here. I might be a little loud. Okay. So let's just to get into it. If any questions come up, like I said, just let me know. So why BAP here? I don't disagree with it. I'm just curious. Um, I like... Um, honestly, I, I... So for this map specifically, I like to like go up and down high grounds consistently or constantly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, that's one thing. Uh, also, we were on D.Va. If, if we were on like a Winston, I'd probably be on Ana. Yeah. Um, if we were like on Orisa, again, I'd probably be on BAP still. Um, and yeah, I... I know they're gonna have a doom fist, uh, notably. But, right. So yeah, I, I'd rather play BAP into doom as well. So. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Good Makes one. sense. Yeah. I mean, self sustain, self sufficiency, putting priority and putting out pressure. Uh, I want to see good positioning from you. I want to see good pressure. Uh, I want to see a, maybe a little bit of weaving when it's necessary. Obviously, good cooldown usage, target priority. Let's just see what we got. That's one thing. I think a little bit. Um, I get a little bit uh, region burst happy, like too too freely. Mm, um, mm, mm. I think I know this sometimes. So yeah, I mean it's a hard cooldown, but it's a very very important cooldown, especially since the uh, Overwatch two rework. That burst heal is yeah. super super important. <laughs> Obviously, you know, dumb. Yeah. Obviously, not so good either. In fact, that actually doesn't even hit your diva. I wasn't even sure yeah. if you knew that, but yeah. Yeah, I really know, yeah. Now, this is really, really, really awkward because you're looking at the situation right here and you're like, all right, well, then I can't do jack all. Like, this just feels terrible. Like, what am I supposed to do? So you need to find ways to put pressure out elsewhere, um, even if it's just, like, controlling a sideline. So this is no bueno. It's not going to work. Where can you go? Um, I could try to go into this right room, try to um, apply... Mm, let's see... Well, so I don't want to go too far from my from my diva, so I need to stay at least like somewhere in this general area. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking, either go into this right room to put more pressure on the widow, like try to force her into like a a worse sideline, um, like helping my soldier with that. Yeah. Um, I could try hanging like again going over to like to the to the right because I know there's tracers here. I could put more pressure on the tracer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, hear, hear me. Hear me out. Hear me out. Ready? Just drop. And shoot people, if anybody okay. that peeks. Because like your whole mentality here is is in your in your right is like, where can I put pressure that isn't peeking this widow at this distance? And that's right. Mm-hmm. And the the funny thing is is that you're taking this position because it's high ground, it's safe, there's cover, this corner. But this is stupid because it makes no sense with what they're doing right now, right? Mm-hmm. This is like what I would best describe as smart, stupid where you take a yep. position that I would tell a silver player to take because it's high ground cover, but it doesn't make any sense in the circumstance whatsoever. And ironically, the best position for you to be would be sitting on the floor, hunting this tracer, or on the floor, peeking this doom fist without peeking the widow, or, 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 or as you said, even here, right? Like, 
Is this optimal? I, I absolutely not. But it's better than what you're doing right now, right? Like this just doesn't make any sense because you can't see much. But at least here we could have shot the tracer. I mean, look at where this tracer comes from, right? Yeah. You didn't know that, but I also know that you weren't seeing or contributing anything from your previous position, right? So at least there you would have had a better impact. I mean, even here, right? Like, what has your contribution been, right? Nothing. And even here, yep. it's like, this is a, as soon as this widow's res, the silence shut down again. Shift, happy again, right? Um, obviously, as, as soon as you hit that right click, totally unnecessary to shift there. Yep. And that's important because, okay, there's the widow peak again. Because especially now, what do you want to be doing right now? Uh, now that this div is in, we probably want to like push up. Right, you need to be rotating forward. You need to Maybe. rotate forward. Yeah, yeah. W key on this, this, this. Right, right. You need to W key here, or W key here, or whatever. But the problem is, is now you don't have your shift. So yeah. every step that you take is going to be a lot scarier. So now you kind of have to play this a little bit more passively. Like your shift is what allows you to play more like a soldier seventy six, even more so than lamp. Right. So if yeah. you don't have your shift, you can't do it as much, and so then therefore your div is. Efforts are going to be wasted. Yeah. Because this is all fine and all, but like, imagine your poor diva's like, guys, I literally just went balls to the wall and this is the space that we control? Are you kidding me? Like, yeah. Right? Even this, right? You were trying to walk forward, immediately have to be uh, a lot more cautious. Lamp is reasonable. Probably felt like that oh, was yeah, necessary. Was sure getting, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you see how like miserable this is. You missed your window and so now you're paying for it. And then yep. you're dead. Um, it's tricky with Bat because uh, it's it's like so much of it is like such a he's really just a super super simple hero, but you get like absolutely smoked if you mess up those simple things. Like he's a lot like a mechanical mercy, where they don't have a lot to think about, but if you choke on it, you're dead, or somebody else on your team is dead. Um, so like I think you miss the opportunity. What can we boil your mistakes down to? A couple of bad shifts, not taking a good sight lane, um, and then that's pretty much it. Right, but yeah, that that was that was enough to be quite losing. Again, bad shift. You got to track your positioning, right? She's behind the corner. You got to trust. Is she gonna die sometimes because you didn't shift? Yes, but that's more often than not gonna be worth the risk because it's a 15 second, 14 second cooldown. Yeah. I'm zooming through this because I I'm assuming that you understand what I'm saying. If I say I something that you're like, what is this guy smoking? Let me know. <laughs> Copy. You got you. Actually, don't do that because <laughs> I'm at, we might be pausing a lot here. I understand what you're saying, but I still think you're smoking something. Um, okay. You know, again here, right? Like this is fine right now, but as soon as that Doom is kind of disengaged out, if you force him out, is there going to be an opportunity to push forward here? Um, I'm totally autopiloting. What did we lamp here? That's oh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh -uh. Okay. See, so, yeah, I can autopilot too. <laughs> Alrighty. Nice. Obviously important that we had that there. Now again here, you need information so that you can know what to do. Because as soon as you can, that shift's totally unnecessary again. Um, because you, and this is again like so important because, you know, whatever we needed it, okay, we're good, we're fine. What do you really want to do right about now? First, besides peeking the window, <laughs> uh, I want to get in a position where I can use a window. Right, but what's the problem now? Now that you've used your regenerative burst, I don't have any cooldowns to support me right somewhere with a window. <laughs> so you want to walk forward, you know, window here or window ego peek the widow here or window even just down low on here and just clear out the space here so that you diva. Because the thing is, if you can window here, this forces them over here. If they're forced yep. over here, your diva then can dive the Widowmaker like she did last time. You kind of see what I'm saying? It's a game of space. So the problem, like you said, though, is that you can't, you don't really, aren't really going to earn that space. You're just going to pray that the Doomfist doesn't contest you or the Tracer doesn't yep. contest you. And then again here, like it feels like we're playing safe, but every single time, I mean, look at this from the Widow's perspective, right? Bye. 
You know what I'm saying? You gotta be careful. Annoying. I will say though, even without regenerative burst, even without regenerative burst, maybe I, I drop and I charge my boots preemptively knowing that I'm gonna get dove. I think you gotta use the window. I think you gotta use it. Even just for space, um, this is like, you know, you've just survived Doom, you've survived the Doom cycle. Maybe you wanna wait for a soldier to come back, but certainly like right now, use the window, use it. Now it's probably too late because you're thinking pulse bomb. And then now your tracer's dead. So now it's definitely too late. But maybe not, maybe it's not like even now, like right now, right? You've got your cooldowns, right? And what else have you noticed about the battlefield too? Watch really carefully. What's impactful to you that you see right now? Everyone's leaving because uh, of the bomb. Right, right. And not just everybody, somebody very important. Widow specifically. Right, so then now where do you window? I'm going to go to the top left, I think is what I do. Mm -hmm. I like right here? Ish here? Like right here? More left, yeah. Right yeah, there. here? Okay, perfect. Let's go. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. And this makes sense, right? Mm -hmm. I know what you're about to do. It's about to like depress me, but I mean, the window's good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember if that was like a misclick or something. But, okay, but, whatever. Uh, if, it, if it's a misclick, it, it happens. You know, it, it, like, I mean, I don't care about misclicks, so I just care about bad habits. No, yeah, I, I, I just don't remember if it was. If all right, it was, all right. Well, whatever, I was whatever. Like, whatever. I'm about to take damage for. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. But then I guess it's like, it's just, it, maybe with all regenerative bursts, you know, but like not with a new one. It should, it should yeah, be, almost yeah. always be used reactively. Nice window! Finally. If I'm RD, if I'm like, jeez, guys, like, holy cow, you guys finally found your W key. Um, alrighty. So main issues I'm seeing so far is like, obviously the regenerative burst, which we knew that. Um, but also like, taking sight lines, taking space around like, what's actually on your screen, right? Like, not just, oh, this positioning is good, but like, look at their composition, look at the situation, be like, where do I need to be? It's such a simple skill, but it's so important. Especially in Overwatch 2. Cart bot, it's fine. But see, like, let's just pretend that you're not cart bot here for a second. Yep. Use your peripheral vision, your hearing, what's on your screen, the status of your cooldowns, and tell me where you could go in over the course of like the next 10 seconds. Just listen. Assuming I wasn't Carbot? Yeah, assuming you weren't Carbot. Um, yeah, so if I hear, like, if my ears are correct, um, like, assuming I, I heard it correctly, like, in-game, um, and I hear the Widow is not, like, holding this this far right, Yeah. Um, then I can go I can go up here and put pressure on there. Mm -hmm. Widow and, and mm -hmm. Ana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You even see your D.Va walking forward, too. Right, yeah. so you could go. Okay, well then, this space is of the. I, I could be more aggressive over here, or even just walk up to with my diva. Maybe look for a late peek here. Um, now, that's not something that I would want to do without my tank going in first. That's feeding otherwise. But I could be a little bit more aggressive on the right side. I could also know that I could safely rotate up to here and hold this position too. Um, but you could be a lot more aggressive because of how far the widow is and where your diva and soldier and G are, um, or tracer. Excuse me. Obviously, you're not going to do that here, but I swear, I'm, I'm, you're, I'm losing my mind. Every time you use a shift, like, an angel loses its wings. Um, like, it, it means so much less aggression from you. Like, any opportunity to go is gone. And the worst part about it is I knew that if you'd had your shift, if you'd had your shift, instead of, like, saving it, like, pushing aggressively or not, you would have used it on your D.Va. I just, I could, I just know you would have. Perhaps. Ah, like, what are you? You're crazy. Look at this. See, this is the thing. This is this is like, oh, I'm on a cart. You know, no, 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 no. Stop, stop. You know where that sniper is. Like your your freaking character told you. <laughs> Any sniper? Where should you be? Uh, probably up here. Like, uh, push yeah. Top left. Yeah. yeah. Just bounce up top left or bounce up here, right? You know, ego this doom or something. But don't not here. Not here. See, this is, you should be dead. You should be dead. Uh, you should be dead. Oh, and here's another thing too. 
if you really wanted to do anything here, what should you do here? If you want to force this and you want to ego the widow, how do you ego the widow here? Uh, I'd get, I mean, I guess if I really wanted to force the one v one, I could like go behind this this purple building and like jump up t to the high. Yeah, and then shift lamp whatever you need to do. You win that one v one, right? That's fine. But like, at least do it. At least do it. Don't don't sit here and like halfway do it. Like no half measures, Walter. Um, all the way or all the way out. This is fine. That's unfortunate, but understandable. That's too early. Again, like you gotta, you gotta, you have to know how to greet your abilities, even if people die. Even if people die, you have to do it. Like you look at this here, everything's fine, everything's dandy. Lamp is unfortunate, but understandable. But you have to look at that guy's HP, hit a heal shot, and trust the heal shot. You know what I'm saying? You have to. You cannot shift like this. Because now, now, if this Doomfist lands on you, you die. Right? It's that simple. Or that. You die to that. You die to a better Genji, though. Right? Yep. I'm just not going to say anything anymore. <laughs> okay, now <sighs> you're ready for this, right? Because once again, we're we're looking for we're looking for a window push. Yep. And the question is, is when the window push, right? When? So let's uh, let's see. See, I, I I don't I wouldn't even. Do you see your mistake here? It's ve it's not a widow, so you're not gonna get your head blown off. But do you see the mistake with this right here, right? Um, probably like just I mean playing too wide. Like, what are you getting out of this positioning right now? Uh, like only a diva angle. Right, only a diva angle. What's the risk out of this position? I get shot by their sojourn. Or and I, you know, or here. Yeah, like you have they're, no they're holding scout. gear and they can see me. Yeah. You have, have no scouting, no cover, no nothing, right? So if you wanted to take an aggressive angle with window here, what do you need? Mm, well, what I need, ideally my cooldowns, mm -hmm. I need, uh, well, I would prefer to be with my soldier and my sure. alarm on high ground. Sure. And I want, I want uh, to time it with some sort of like diva push on, yeah, on the yeah, high. Exactly. I, I question this position just period. But if you're gonna do something like this, you at least need cooldowns and you at least need your diva doing something. So like let's yep. watch a second. You're watching like you could sit here and hug the wall and wait and wait and wait. And now you got me? Now. Yeah. You see that? Now that that risk is handled. Heck, you could even take this time to jump up top and window here. You got me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But instead, you're not considering any positioning. You're not considering your tank timing as an impetus for you to take an aggressive position. So then you get cleared early. Your diva's in. You're out. Worst case scenario. So when your diva would need support, whether offensively or defensively, you're nowhere to be seen. It's a lot like when you're taking a flank as soldier. When do you shoot? When do you push? You know what I'm saying? And yes. if you mistime that or you waste your cooldowns for no particular reason, not only are you not going to be able to peek at the right time, but if you do, you're going to die because you don't have heal station helix fill in the blank, right? Um, it's the same thing with BAP. Obviously, I'm not saying you're going on flanks with BAP, but you are looking to posture aggressively. You need to, if you're not leveraging your self-sufficiency as Batiste, nine times out of 10, you're feeding right? Because a Zenyatta or any other support would just do it better. So if you're not playing aggressively, you're feeding, but also if you're not playing aggressively in the right way. And right now, you've not been able to play very aggressively because you're not um, playing intelligently before the pushes. And because you're wasting your shift so frequently, you also don't have that cooldown to abuse for your own greed, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Let it rip. 
I mean, I mean, you could have, but I, I also understand why not. So it's fine. <laughs> I, I, I say let it rip, and then you would have died instantly. So world's <laughs> worst coach. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Listen, you got a limit test, right? That's 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 the Honestly, limit test. There was like a thirty percent chance I would have done it. In yeah, I mean, it felt good. Like you had like a nice little angle there, and it was timed well. But you know. I see like you you gotta trust your team, man. You gotta trust your team. Like I, I nothing about this says nothing about this says danger to my team, respectfully. You just saw him use both cooldowns. You know? And and they're not even crit. So what what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, so the way I would reason it, um, but like obviously it's uh Thinking about it now, in hindsight, it's like suboptimal. Is just like they're playing in a like place where, um, or they're about to enter a place where I can't really support them with um, just direct healing or my right. rhythm first. So right. I'm, I'm 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 throwing this out there to give them like the the most possible like. Uh, it's just like a little boost possible. and sustain. Yeah, I guess it's it's yeah. more of like a like just use this however you want to. To, to try to win that, I guess. Yeah, I, I got I got what you're saying. It's like it's like a, I mean, let's be honest. Like this lamp is not gonna do nothing. Mm. You know, even if he didn't ult here, it's gonna do something. It's gonna be like an HP barrier. It's gonna distract the Doomfist. Maybe he, you know, it's gonna do something. The question is, is always the opportunity cost. You know, like okay, now he's ulting. Is he now just gonna land on me? You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And I think that's kind of like where we're at. So here, here's what I will do. Here's what I will do. I don't think that you need to save lamp for somebody who's one HP. I mean, you and I both know that that's not always necessary. What I would say though, is I would try to practice your preparation for what lamp is going to be used for. Like if you, we've talked about a lot of your positioning, how you're playing, posturing aggressively, the cooldowns, tracking enemy threats. Well, guess what? Now we're going to talk about one other thing. I want you to look at the situation and go like, what am I lamping? Gotcha. You know? It, Doom has hold. Is he gonna go for me? Do I think my Iari needs or Iliari needs 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 lamp here? And I think like I want you to look at this situation right now and be like, okay, they're fine. Don't lamp. Because now they need lamp. Could have thrown this up here. Balances saves your Iliari. So I I think I think you need to practice making more accurate reads. You have reasons for it. But as you said, the reasoning isn't 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 is is, is costing you this fight. Yeah. Again, the shift, right? So and now the fight's lost. Come. Now, hear me out. What could you do here? Um, <laughs> I mean, I could do a lot. Uh, what I'm what I'm trying to do here is just is follow my diva into a sure uh, into a window angle. Sure, get a little quirky with it, you know. But for this to work, what do you need? Um, hmm. Because I know what I want you to do, <laughs> but you got to do it well, right? Right. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what uh, uh, what specifically. Well, it's always the same question with BAP, right? Is there some sort of pressure elsewhere? So you need your timing to be good, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have my cooldowns? Is the positioning reasonable enough, right? So mm -hmm. I would be a little bit cautious right now. But at least your diva's in. Mm -hmm. You have your cool, had your cooldowns. And the positioning isn't total troll, right? Yeah. The major problem, though, is obviously the regenerative burst. Because this needs to be planted now, then return to burst, and you're cooked, right? I don't mind this play, but have your shift, I bet. Because you should be walking forward here with your shift. Hard ego. You got me? Instead, it's like... Uh, Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Again, like, uh, burst. Like yeah, the poor poor cooldown usage is like preventing me from from going. Yes. Getting more out of yes. out of like the plays I'm trying to make. 
Yes, yes, exactly. Though, the, and, and the same could be said for lamp. Um, in in some circumstances, I would not say in your circumstances. I think your lamp usage has been mostly fine. But for regenerative burst, it's like it, it needs to be used to enable aggression. You don't have it, so you can't go as aggressive as you ought to be. Yeah. And then in addition, because you're not paying as much attention to like, okay, where is my tank doing? Where is my tank going? What what are the threats on the battlefield? Like the Widowmaker, perfect example, right? You just you just kind of held that position, but you didn't really think about like, what's a is there a better angle for me to do more things? That's the big thing. That's the big thing. Okay. Any questions so yep. far? Absolutely not. I'm following okay. along. Okay. You want to jump to the Ana then? Yeah. Let's get let's get some Ana gameplay. Okay. Let's do this. I'm going to be honest, I don't like starting here as Ana. Um, I think there's too much dynamic with your uh, ability to contribute to a team fight through your, your, your medium short ranges as well. So I like look at this situation here and I'm like, I want you starting probably here. And then if you okay. go, oh, Doom Genji, okay, I need to rotate, then you can rotate afterwards. Okay, so but, but so you mean um, if I'm anticipating the Genji uh, Doom, should I still be standing there? Uh, yes, because you have time to rotate, so why not? Worst case scenario, is start here, right? Okay. You hear Doom Genji? Okay, if you don't hear Doom Genji, you got a wrist a double sniper or whatever, you need to get up in here. You need to get up in here and hit nades and, and put out shots, because this is not... I mean, you know how it is. They pick Widowmaker. This isn't going to work, right? Like, this is, this is going to feel terrible. You need to be a lot closer. This is a terrible, terrible point for positioning. I, everybody hates it, right? But mm -hmm. I think this is assuming dive immediately, but it hasn't actually been proven to you just yet that that's what they're running. Okay. And so what's get, what this is going to mean is, um, obviously, it's like, I mean, it is what it is, but like, let's say that they were running like spammy or comp. You guys would lose this choke even if they're running spam your comp because you wouldn't be there to hit nades. Gotcha. So your team would immediately have to rotate back. Um, now, rotating back here is not the end of the world because Doom Genji, right? So... But... Um, uh, I mean, to be honest, just a mechanical issue. You just goofed up. It happens. <laughs> I, it's not it's nothing... <laughs> It's nothing to worry about. Um, do you want to look more at BAP or do you want to skip ahead to the more Ana? Um, we have plenty it, of time. It's up to you. Is this... Uh, I think I swapped back to Ana here, though. Yeah, you do uh, swap back to Ana. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's, uh, let's look at both. Let's look yeah. at BAP still. Okay, let's... let's maybe, maybe a little bit more BAP to kind of put our, uh, our, our mind at ease. Okay. The <laughs> shift is definitely... The shift and then the aggression around the shift is definitely a big one. You adjusting your positioning based off of the enemy composition is definitely a big one. Uh, and I'm trying to think. I think timing that aggression around your tank is definitely a big one. But let's 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 keep let's keep watching. Like I actually really don't like your positioning that much right now. I don't care. I don't dislike it that much. But I'm also wondering, like, okay, what are some options here? Um, I could be standing with my soldier. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably. Mm, yeah. Now it's know. greedy like, as all get out, right? Right. Yeah. Well, I'm, so the way I'm looking at this, uh, this fight, like, or like this team comp, I guess, is like I would rather have me on this left and my, uh, um, Alari on the right. Yeah. But I, I think. In this situation, like if my Alari wants to play here, and I, and I obviously like don't comment that I, it's it's like either way I could be on the right side. As well. Right now, now when now how on earth did you survive a Doomfist Genji dive right here? Wait. Um, this is a well, rhetorical I th I mean, question. Think about it. Okay. Um, it's not really a rhetorical question, actually. No, it's it's a straight question. There's an answer to this. How would you survive it? What do you need? Um. Well, cooldowns. Right, and that's exactly what you should have. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, the other nice thing is that you don't have to peek the widow if you're here. So it's 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 mitigating your risks is what it is. Does it expose you more to Doomfist Genji? Yes, but at the very least, you're removing one risk from the table, the Widowmaker, right? Um, gotcha. So I want you here-ish or in this general vicinity, um, even just here, just jumping and shooting here. 
just to help your soldier, but only if you have cooldowns. But the problem here is it's like, okay, again, the shift, but like the problem here is it's like, you're not really controlling much space right now. You're so scared to peek Widow, reasonably so, that you're not really controlling much space. Now you have both cooldowns again. Widows jump top. We have a major problem. Wasted shift, which means you can't do what? Uh, push up with my diva, or like, right. I need to. I mean, just yeah. just laser her, go walk on her. But uh, now I'm scared. I mean, you should really, as soon as this happens, obviously the 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 lamp is you know unfortunate, but like you you should walk forward here if you need to. <coughs> I mean, probably don't want to right now, but <coughs> excuse me, um, it should be at least an option. And now no shift means that you're exposed to the um the ult from Doom. Right. You're crazy. <laughs> crazy, man. <laughs> crazy, man. You're absolutely insane. Maybe it's just a Widowmaker thing. Maybe it's because I don't want to try, try and extra extrapolate some crazy conclusion. Maybe it's just you just are bad at respecting Widowmaker sightlines. But again, my point is that like if the Widowmaker is there, then you're going to have to adjust. But remember, if they have a Widowmaker there, then that means these shorter, more medium range sightlines are a lot more free because there isn't a Hanzo, Tracer, you know, Reaper or whatever that's going to bully you out of them. You see? Remember, positioning is always contextual. Yeah. You don't just memorize, this high ground's good for BAP. I mean, yes, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Shift. I mean, this fight's just pretty much lost no matter what you do. Let's keep going. Yeah. So, 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 main, main takeaways. Let's just, let's just write your stuff at BAP, like right now before we move on to our own. Okay. BAP, what are you saying? What skills, specific skills, do you need to practice? Um, yeah. So, definitely being conscious of like, uh, I'm gonna, yeah, you gotta pay like hella attention to, to regen burst usage. Um, that's one. Two is, uh, like you said, positioning is contextual, so I need to read, um, where people are standing and then, like, uh, position myself and make plays according to, uh, how I want to respond to that. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. um, and obviously when I do respond to that, have my cooldowns, like regen burst. Position, uh, positioning level regression is contextual on status of burst plant can go for more greed when available not if not how does that look yeah looks uh all right it's hard because i i really feel like almost all of these are kind of three in one you know what i'm saying like the whole thing yeah. is like your regenerative verse is bad so then therefore you have to position more cautiously but also then while you're positioning cautiously you're not really considering what the threats are on the battlefield and because you're not reading what the threats are on the battlefield you're getting your, your your cooldowns for so you're dying so i think it starts it starts with the positioning thing i think i think you look at the enemy composition and you decide okay where do i need to go from there keep a very careful look on your regenerative burst um and i think any work that you could put on those two things are going to help your overall positioning a lot more. I think what we've seen is that you're, you're positioning and dying unnecessarily, but then you're also not putting out as much offensive pressure as you could be as well. It's, it's the worst of both worlds, right? I mean, you're doing a lot of things well. Your mechanics are fine. Uh, lamps are mostly fine as well. I don't think your ults were too bad. Maybe a little bit slow here and there, but they're mostly fine. But your regener bad regenerative burst is kind of gatekeeping you into taking into, from taking more aggressive positions 
and you're also not paying attention to the variables you need to consider when you are positioning. That's why positioning is so hard, is it's not just stuff like cover usage and distance management and stuff like that. It's also like what is actually going on on the battlefield right now and reading and, uh, accordingly. Like you can't memorize positions anymore. You have to know like, okay, Widow's here, then I'm going to try this. Okay, then my Diva's in. Okay, so now I can actually take the sightline. You have to actually read the situation. And that's a very difficult skill to build. But it's something, good news, that's always going to affect your support play, no matter what support you're playing. Make sense? Yep. Okay. Yes. Let's uh let's take a look at some Ana here. Yep. Ana swap is good. Sleep is good. Nate is good. Shots are not good, but that's okay. And you know you notice this. You do you you already understand these these uh these the things that I'm talking about, right? But you just don't do it consistently enough. Why are you pushing forward here? This is feeding, right? Doom Genji, they're gonna kill you, right? Look at what just happened. Look, look at what just happened. You see your Winston? Yep. You see the Genji? You see the Doom? Why are you allowed to walk forward this close? You see it? Uh, yeah, What's I mean, they're, they're, worri they're worried about, like, yeah. this left side over here so I can just walk to the right. And put your team is elsewhere. aggressing. Your tank is aggressing, so the threats that you have to worry about are no longer as much of a problem. You see that? Yeah. In addition yeah. to that, what's the status of your cooldowns? Have them. <laughs> you have them. So all, it's not just it's not just you have, uh, oh, if I get pushed, I can defend myself. But also, if I don't get pushed, I can use them aggressively. Yeah. Right? Case in point. Now watch what you do immediately afterwards. I choke. I go back. You see that? Because you're sniffing Valking Mercy. You're sniffing Doomfist coming after me. Right? Yeah. And you're right. They would if you'd stayed there and you would have died. So you're already doing this. You already know this. You just don't do it consistently enough and or maybe you don't do it consistently enough with Batiste specifically. Because okay. this positioning from you is good, given the status of the fight, given the status of your cooldowns. But right now, I see my Winston in. I see the status of my cooldowns. I'm looking for any excuse to find value to cooldowns. Now, it turns out that you don't need to because Genji's pushing it, so you could just worry about him, right? But like, let's yep. say this Genji's not here. If you did not push forward in some way, shape, or form for a better sightline at this point in time, you'd be trolling the lobby. I agree. Right? You don't need to, because they push into you. But, you know, obviously that needs, needs to hit. But this is good, right? This is good. And then notice that as they continue to push in deeper and deeper, you don't just stand here like a moron. You're like, oh, crap, we're down one. I've just used both my cooldowns. I need to create a little bit more distance. Right? Good. So far, so good. The mechanics on your Ana, uh, you know, not amazing, but you're making good decisions with your positioning. Right. So far. <laughs> so far. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. See, even right now, you're backing up. Why? Even though you have your cooldowns, why are you backing up? My tank is dead. Your tank is dead. Right. So unless you guys get a pick elsewhere, I mean, you could get a nade here. Um, I mean, maybe a nade here would make them prevent them from pushing you. So I wouldn't be against it, but it's also not the end of the world. I would, if you, I would not. I would you're right. Not but it's also not the end of the world if you don't, right? Yeah. The other thing as well for you to do that is you would have to peek the Widowmaker sightline. So you better darn well make sure that there's something in between or distracting that Widowmaker before you peek this. Because this is really scary. Winston in. end. Oh, now you're egoing. Now you could fish for a sleep dart here or a nade here as well. Obviously it's from downtown, so it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a tough one, but I, I this would be reasonable enough. W. Really unfortunate, Suzu. Reasonable, right? Reasonable. Yep. Now, could you have gone, oh, they have Dumo, or oh, I should have hit, you know, where they have Suzu, I could have tracked that. Yes, yes. But, but honestly, I, I, I don't think it's the end of the world. I don't think it's the end of the world. Now, this is, again, tank in, even, angle, cooldowns. That's stupid. However, the positioning of what you're doing is very reasonable. Good. Careful. Widow's got no pressure. Careful, Widow has no pressure. Shoot. Widow has pressure. Move. Honestly, go. Going in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or or immediately rotate right here, right? Quickly. Yeah, I think Good. that's where I go. Maybe after this. No, I think I just stay here actually. 
I mean, it's okay now because Widow's dead, but yeah. Okay. You see the the, the 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 flow that we're talking about here, right? Yes, I do. Very important. <clears throat> Nano? And Nano is a great tool for you because it's what enables that flow uh, almost to a caricature, right? It's like your tank can go even more aggressive. So you could position even more aggressive. Now you could look at this and be like, okay, they have blade, so I need to be careful. Disaster. Good. Nice. Um, I mean, just again, it's it's a question of just poor mechanical execution, right? Um, but but the, again, the right idea, and I think you win this fight off of that. Oh, maybe not. That's so corny. Look at that. You see that in the middle of my screen? Yeah. <laughs> that's uh Don't that's matter. that's that's fun. Okay, we juke him. It's all good. Nice. See that nade allows you to play in this more aggressive position. You don't have that nade, you die. Turns out they die. I wait, 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 wait. About darn time, holy crap. Again, mechanics, right? Shoot nade, you missed your combo, right? It's just like little things like that, like that right there. That shot needs to hit, right? Yeah. Um, but that's the best uh, news that you should have heard all day, right? Uh, yeah, I just need to work on mechanics. Right, <laughs> right, right. So far, so far, it's been mostly mechanics. It's been little things like hitting the sleeps, hitting the nades, rotating a little bit more cleaner. Like you look, it's not just the mechanics of like your gun. You just sometimes don't move super fluidly either. Um, but like this is just it's just reps at this point. So now, now let, let's talk about positioning here because you're continually rotating to here over and over and over again and i don't have a problem with that but let's think outside the box is there any other option that you can think of here i could off angle to like far left but I think that <sighs> we've done it me. before yeah but i think i, don't, I think it, like if i start here and i i would have to be very careful with like if they know i'm over here because uh that looks like a free dive from Doom. does it what if you have a sleep I mean, nade like, mm, I see. Well, and then you and like, then and then you run to spawn, it's right? A, if it's supported by Kiri, though, I think it, it like it's it's a little too dangerous. At least like the way I'm looking at it right now. Okay. But but the question is is there's more, you think that there's more risk? Okay. Why? Because you're isolated, right? Mm -hmm. Isolated from who? Who do you need help uh, from? My teammates. Okay. Uh, I guess what? specifically like my uh, my Lari. Okay, so you need your you need you need the beam. Okay. Got it. So you lose the beam. Maybe you lose the turret. Although that, I don't think that's going to hit you either way. But what do you gain? Uh, well, I gain the, the... If they were to go on this dive, like I gain their attention. Is, um, there, is this a better split for your team? For example, if the Doom Genji dive over here, how much damage do you think your soldier and Alari do under that sort of pressure? Uh, sorry, you said if they, if they jump over here? Mm -hmm. uh, they probably do less. Um, right. Now, what happens if they jump over pressure. here? Yeah, they can get a, the free free angle off. You, you see what I'm saying, right? Now, also yeah. think selfishly here. What about your sightline right now? No Widowmaker. Mm -hmm. Ash damage boosted, um, a little bit problematic, yes. But... Yeah, but essentially, unless the Ash is, like, directly trying to put pressure on me, I can I can go for free pot shots. Sure. Um, but you kind of see what I'm saying if, here. If my, if, yeah, yeah, I do. It's something to um, consider. It's something to, it's, here's what it is. It's something to try. It's something to try. Now, I would be very careful about using my cooldowns aggressively from this position. Why? Uh, because, like, yeah, if, if, if they jump me, I'm, I'm cooked. Right. So you're expecting them to jump you because my mouse one alone should force them to jump me, surely, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Just the fact that I'm here and putting out damage will probably force them to die me, so then I'll have my get out of jail free card in theory and or my team can punish as a result. So I'm going to consider risk versus reward and then adjusting your cooldowns accordingly. This is some pretty advanced stuff, uh, but I think it's something worth considering. Now, by the way, notice that we pick like this position now. Why? Because there's no more what? Um, what do they not have anymore? Widowmaker. Right. If they have Widowmaker, this position's bad. 
It sucks, yeah. It's, it's contextual, right? It's the same thing with BAP. You can't just memorize positions. You've got to look at the situation. If they're on Widowmaker Zenyatta, all of a sudden I want to try something like this, or I really want to try and leverage this, or, or maybe even like look up for a flank play up here, right? Is it crazy? Yes, but it's a lot more reasonable given the circumstance. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Because the, the problem I see here is your, is your tank is in, and yet what are you doing? Um, so, I mean, I can't see him, but I'm also like still anticipating uh, a dive that's not going to happen. Where's your pressure? Like, what's uh, your pressure output level at right now, right? Basically zero. Zero, right? Much you're not right, responding yeah. to dives. You're not peeling a dive. You're not healing. You're not damaging. You're not sleeping. You're not needing. So then your Winston is going to get smoked. You got me? That's yeah. that's on you, and that's also on your soldier. It's also on your tracer. I don't really know what else they're doing, but like your Winston essentially tries to create space, put pressure, and there's no help, no pressure elsewhere. Now I'm not going to be that guy, but I'm going to be that guy. Yeah. You got me. Yeah. So just something to consider. If that's the case, that you need to at least be peeking this here. I'm going to be honest with you. You must be at least peeking this. Are you scared of a doom dive? Of course you are. But you got your cooldowns, your Winston's creating space, and it turns out that at least one of those divers <laughs> is focusing him, not you. Yep. All comes back to timing, all comes back to team play. You're cooked. Well, maybe. At least you respond out, right? You rotate out. You make a mistake, but you don't die for it, right? That's the key thing. If you make a mistake with your cooldowns, uh, just C9. Ouchies. Um, okay, let's... Uh, Okay, we have, we have, we can look at a couple more fights. Would you prefer to finish this one out or do you want to look at a couple fights on the other code? Um, let me think real quick. Uh, sure. The following code, I think this one might be a little better. Um, just All like right. For, for learning ways. Sure, works for me. Oh, they have a lever, that's tragic. I think he comes back right away. That could be crazy. If they have a lever, I think it's, Probably not worth well, it. Well, we'll go through at my accelerated two times speed speed review. I don't I didn't, I didn't even remember this happening, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that shift, man, I swear. I don't. Oh, man. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Did, did he come back? I guess not. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I don't even remember that person. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Let's, you know what? Let's look at one fight totally arbitrarily from this code because that's the that's the most scientific way of approaching this. Uh, let's just go here and then. Okay, let's take a look at this fight. You ready? <laughs> let's do this. Good try. It's tragic. Okay, this is. We don't learn anything from this. <laughs> This is uh, our scientific approach has let us down. The method. Jeez, oh, dude, come on, man. Should have worked. It should have worked. Now this is going to be super important, right? Because you know, you know, because this is going to be the same thing we talked about, right? Like that level of aggression um, off of your Winston is going to be super important. Now I I'm also going to say as well that as quickly as you can, like this nade is. See, here's here's the problem with this nade. All right, let's talk about the problem with this nade. All right. I don't think it's a bad name necessarily, but you know your Winston's on the way up. Mm -hmm. So really, what should you do here? Where should you be? What should you do? Um, I probably so if at this point I think he's at least like when I was planning the nade, I think he's at least going to stay there for for a bit longer, pressuring the Sigma. Sure. Um, and obviously like while I was planning it, uh, like my reaction to the shield coming out is a bit slow, so like I just like chuck it right in. Sure. But um, if I know that my if my Winston is gonna just like soft engage this and then he's gonna leave, then I probably want to like sit closer into this like uh left room mm, um, mm, and mm -hmm, then look mm -hmm. on the follow up. Right. Uh, look at the next dive rather. Right. I kind of exactly dive. exactly like you know that this like you could nade the sigma here if you want to to force him back a little bit. That's that's a good cooldown trade if you'd like to. However, I think at this point in time, I'm concerned that even if you hit this nade, that he's not going to give up any space at all because your Winston's already disengaged out. The more important yeah. thing I want to look for, as you said, is trying to take a nice short sightline so that on the next cycle, I'm in a great position to go like Rambo on these guys. Right. Um, yeah. You need to close the distance versus these guys. Right. Like, this is the problem with your positioning right now. You're playing a spam angle versus a spam comp. Remember, you're playing Ana, right? You've got options. Uh, leverage those options here. 
Oh, well, there you go. That also works. Nano Primal. Bit disastrous. Because now that's a uh, not a good cooldown terrain. That nade is fine. Jonak on the enemy team. That is okay. Winston in. You need to walk as quickly as you get your Widow up. Oh, nice. But get out of this positioning before I lose my mind. You see how bad this positioning is, right? Yeah. Where's your cooldown value? Your tank is in. Zero, right? What are the risks of you dying to Widow or Hanzo or Zen or whatever from this position? Fairly high. Fairly high, yeah, right? It's, For, it's cer like certainly no, correctly, certainly yeah. no lower than than any other more p uh, postured position. Now, Sigma's not exactly somebody you want to you want to give a big fat hug on, but if still you want to try and find some way to close the distance here. Um. All right, I lied. We're gonna get one more fight. But you see how this like there's like a poetry to this whole hero, you know, and just like support in general. Leverage your cooldowns around your tank's timing. Adjust your positioning depending on enemy comp and the status of your cooldowns, essentially. Yep. Nothing complicated, but very important. Like you look at this and you're like, this is brain dead, right? But I have Nade, right? So if she pushes me and I and I'm smart, I should be able to kill her. Right, and keep myself alive. You you do this, yep. right? This is this is fine. Like this this sin, man. <laughs> and, and he's got the name Thespian as well. Look at this guy. This, this guy's this guy's got it. This guy. This, you know this guy's an absolute <laughs> IRL Sigma <laughs> male. Look at look at this. Look at this. Look at this guy. You know this guy like this guy like reads the Wall Street Journal and like <laughs> smokes pipes or something. I'm, I'm sure of it. Uh, this man is an intellectual, let me tell you. Oh, yes, oh, oh yes. But you see, your, your, your issue here is obviously, like, okay, so here's the thing. You have the right idea. My tank in, I have cooldowns in. But this is the same problem that you were doing in Batiste. What's the problem with you going in right now? It's, it's not you going in, it's how you're going in, right? What's the problem? Uh, this angle is, is like, not, I, I want to be like hugging this right wall next to my, zone. right. Like, I, I can make these shots from, from a better place. Right. You, you, you need cover, right? You need cover or, or, or honestly, like if you could just find a way to uh, LOS the, the soldier or LOS the Hanzo, or at least one of the other, like right now, again, you're playing like a spam angle versus a spam comp with no cover. Mm -hmm. So of course you peek and you're like, oh, well, this isn't going to work. I can't peek. Well, just because you're, you're peeking like a jackass, right? So, so now your window to get cooldown value is now not closed. But you missed it, so I hope darn well that your team, and, and there it is, right? Now, obviously, Thespian is, is, you know, a god amongst men, but your opportunity to actually contribute to the fight has come and gone because the way yep. that you pushed off of it, it's not just pushing with your tank. That's not good enough. You got to know how to push. You got to know what positioning actually makes sense, and now it's pretty much over. Right. Now, the sleep was impactful enough to still clutch uh, a potential kill. And you guys could still probably grind this one out. But you got to know how to push, not just pushing one. Okay, so let, let's talk about this. So a little bit more of an esoteric conversation, but still one that's worth having. So what are some things that you need to work on with your honor? Uh, hmm. Let's see. So Similar, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's more of the same thing. Like, just uh, uh, understanding where, like where I can be to actually properly execute on like plays I'm trying to make. So, um, and obviously having the cooldowns for it, uh, same thing as BAP. Um, what else? Uh, to your CDs. And then the big one was just cannons. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I, I think your Ana was, uh, you understood, it felt like you understood the flow a little bit better with your uh, mechanics with Ana. I don't know if it's more obvious with Ana. With Bap, it just feels like, oh, these are serve, these are like defensive cool and so, you know, if I get dove, but like obviously, you know, you could use it proactively, right? Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, mechanics more so. Any questions? Um, hmm. Don't think so. At least not. Okay. okay. No, well, no, no, no direct questions, yeah. Sure. If any